here the problem based on wedge friction here he asks us he asks us to find the the p force required to move this wedge or to lift this slope here the weight is of 20 kN which is acting downward for this horizontal movement of this wedge we will be having the vertical movement of this load if we when we apply this force p on this particular wedge this wedge move will be moved towards left and this weight or the load which is on the wedge will be moving up or down for this left movement the body will be moving in the upward direction for this rightward movement the body will be moving in the downward direction okay here he given w equal to 20 kN and the angle of friction the angle of friction is nothing but phi for all surface he has given as 15 degrees and here is given alpha is equal to 20 degrees okay he has given alpha is equal to 20 degrees now our aim is to find this particular force p what is the particular force p is acting on this particular body first draw the equilibrium equation of this particular wedge if we see that this is the wedge okay and if we see here due to this contact surface whenever this p force is applied there will be a friction generated in this opposite direction the opposite friction generated i am considering it is as f1 and there will be however there will be a normal reaction generated okay due to these two forces there will be a resultant which is of r1 which is making an angle of phi with this and when due to this contact of this load to this particular wedge there will be a normal reaction generated which is normal to the surface i am considering this is as n2 whenever this wedge moves in this direction the friction will be generated in opposite direction that is which is of f2 due to these forces there will be a resultant reaction generated considering it is as r2 it is making an angle of phi that is nothing but the angle of friction that is 15 degrees now here we see what about this angle this angle will be alpha alpha is 20 degrees how that angle will be alpha i will explain it here if you see here is a wedge okay here it is making an angle of alpha here if you see there will be a normal reaction normal reaction means which is normal to this it means this angle is of 90 degrees okay here is a formed a triangle this it will perpendicular then what about this angle this angle will be 90 minus alpha okay this angle will be 90 minus alpha to this angle total angle is 180 degrees i want to find out this angle now this total 180 minus whenever i subtract these two angles i will get this angle 180 minus 90 minus 90 minus of alpha 180 minus 90 minus 90 0 minus of minus alpha plus alpha this angle is of alpha here in this way we got this alpha for this we draw a free body diagram here also a p force is acting on it now if we see that if when we resolve it p force is acting in this direction however the weight load of the wedge is neglected which we are discussed in the previous section in the conceptual form here n2 due to this resultant r2 is acting here here r2 here or we can mention like this here is r2 r2 is making an angle of 5 plus alpha here 5 plus alpha total angle with the vertical direction is 5 plus alpha here 5 is 15 degrees alpha is 20 degrees total angle is 35 degrees this r2 is making an angle of 35 degrees with the vertical with the vertical it is making an angle of 35 degrees and there is a another reaction that is generated is of r1 here r1 is generated which is making with vertical with vertical it is making an angle of 5 5 is nothing but 15 degrees okay when we resolve this here if we get here r1 sin 15 degrees and here from this r2 sin 35 degrees and in this direction r2 cos 35 degrees we know that wherever it makes an angle there we will get an uh, co component called cos here r1 here sorry r r1 cos 15 degrees whenever we resolve this r1 some of the forces in the vertical direction is equal to zero r1 cos 15 degrees is equal to r2 cos 35 degrees okay now next p is equal to r1 sin 15 degrees plus r2 sin 35 degrees okay now it's enough now 
we consider the free body diagram of this particular body if we see this particular body there is a weight which is acting vertically downward that is of 20 kN the forces acting are it is in contact with the surface therefore a normal reaction will be generated I am considering this normal reaction as M3 this for this horizontal moving it is having vertical movement whenever it is moving upward friction will be generated in the downward direction that is of the that is will be of F3 and there will be a norm resultant reaction that is of R3 which is making an angle of 5 with this particular normal reaction and it is in contact with the surface also here also we will generate a normal reaction here it is generated a normal reaction which is of here in this case which is generated is of N2 here also it will generate a normal reaction of N2 whenever it is moving upward it is moving upward then the friction will be here it moves upward it means while it is moving in the vertical direction we also confirm that it is moving towards this direction that means friction generated opposite to this direction therefore friction will be generated will be of F2 when there will be a resultant reaction generated which is making an angle of phi okay now we need to draw the free body diagram of this particular body here the weight is acting W in the downward direction and if you see for this this angle is also alpha in the previous same concept here also we get the angle alpha now this if we consider this here the reaction is R2 R2 which is acting upward okay which is making an angle of alpha plus phi alpha plus phi means 35 degrees with the vertical here also it makes an angle with the vertical here if you see R3 which is making an angle of alpha with the horizontal here also we get the angle R3 which is making an alpha here if you see here it is making an phi sorry phi here phi is 15 degrees whenever we resolve this in this direction we get R3 cos 15 degrees and in the downward direction we get R3 sin 15 degrees and in this direction we get R2 sin 35 degrees and in the upward direction we get R2 cos 35 degrees whenever we resolve this R2 sin 35 degrees is equal to R3 cos 15 degrees from these two and if you see that R2 cos 35 degrees is equal to W plus R3 sin sin 15 degrees if you see that I know here the load W that is of 20 kilometers if you see now we will get in the terms of R3 or R2 okay or instead of doing all this we can also we have a ability to draw uh, the diagram which is useful for Ramis theorem from Ramis theorem if you see if we consider this load W okay if we consider this load W and the reactions are R2 and R3 or in this manner also we can solve this problem here we have R2 sin 35 and R3 cos 15 okay whenever we substitute in this reaction we will also here the only unknown is of here the only unknowns are R2 and R3 by solving these two equations we get the value of R2 and R3 by solving these two equations we get whenever we solve these two equations R2 cos 35 degrees is equal to R2 is equal to R3 sin 15 degrees by cos 35 degrees okay and if we substitute by here by solving these two we get R2 and R3 here we known with R2 whenever we substitute here we get here R1 by substituting R1 and R2 here the P force will be known from the calculation we got that P force is 23.835 kN okay this is the way if we solve these two equations we get the value of r2 and r3 whenever i substitute r2 here i will get the r1 by substituting r1 and r2 i get the p force which is required here the p force is the force required to move the wedge that is means to lift the load or in another way by using lamis theorem also we can draw this here we have total here w is acting downward and there is a reaction which is acting r2 which is upward which is making an angle of you know 35 degrees and another one which is of where it is 
here another one which is of r3 which is acting downward which is making an angle of 15 degrees now w by sign of angle between these two forces the angle between these two forces is this is 90 90 plus 35 plus 15 we know that 35 plus 15 is 50 and 50 plus this 90 this 50 plus 90 will become 140 degrees next r2 r2 by angle between these two forces this total is 90 degrees here 90 minus 15 that is 75 degrees sine 75 degrees and next here r3 r3 by angle between these two forces of okay angle between these two forces if you see that this total is 180 degrees if we substitute this 35 degrees we get this angle that is sine of 180 minus 35 degrees here we know w is 20 kilometers okay? if we solve this equation r2 is equal to r2 is equal to 20 into sin 75 by sin 140 in this way also we get the reactions r2 and r3 by substituting r2 here we get the r1 by substituting here is the answer which i have solved in the earlier the answer is 23.835 kilonewtons